So guys, we're in Australia Mountain Ranch, and as you can see by that sign right there, those are all the different builders that have built out different sections of Australia Mountain Ranch. Now, what is Australia Mountain Ranch? I'm glad you asked, guys. Australia Mountain Ranch is one of the, the handful of master plan communities that are truly self-sustaining and, and just amazing. Um, a little bit of everything, all kinds of different options when it comes to single family homes and uh, just almost every kind of amenity you could possibly think of. And that, and that is located here in Goodyear, Arizona. So we're gonna give you a little tour of, of Australia Mountain Ranch, let you see some of the uh, architecture style of homes uh, with the different builders, you're gonna get a little bit different flavor with all the different builders, you know, so it depends on which one you, uh, you like. Um, but again, it has schools, it has uh, a yacht club, it has fitness centers, it has a lake. Um, it's just a really nice, cool, really nice uh, subdivision. And what's great about it is it's nestled right in the Australian mountains, thus giving it its name. So you have mountain views surrounding you everywhere for the most part. Um, it's a really, a really nice area once you're actually into Australia Mountain Ranch. And again, guys, as you can see, um, there is no shortage of space and land out here in Goodyear as well. It just kind of goes for forever, what seems like. And there are a lot of people who love the desert who want to come out here who, to get newer housing and, um, and, and affordable housing. So this is a great place to do it because you get so much for your money. And what's great about Australia Mountain Ranch is the HOA dues. Guys, they're only about $340 a quarter. So I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but that's right around, what, $312? Or I'm sorry, see, I told you I wasn't very smart. $112, $113 a month. So that's pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. Very affordable, especially for what you get in the... And so we figured it might be a good idea to just walk through real quick and give you an idea of what does new construction of a home actually look like. Maybe you're interested, maybe you're not, but let's go in and take a look at it real quick and see how you actually build a home, a home, a house from the inside out. House from the inside out. There you go. Let's go check it out. Let's go in the front door. Let me get the door for you, Abby. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool guys. So you got the two by four construction, obviously. Um, base plates get knocked uh, or, or drilled down into the concrete. Then you have top plates up here. I used to frame actually, fun fact. I framed for three summers um, at the end of high school and beginning of college. So I kind of know a little bit more than the average person about this kind of stuff. You have all the hurricane braces on the truss that go from the load bearing wall to load bearing wall all the way across. And then you have the plywood over here stacked, right? Which is kind of cool. Uh, that's obviously what sheets the entire roof on the, on the way up. So uh, this is how they do it. Now, they mark certain things with chalk lines, as you can tell, with the red lines. Those are called chalk lines, so it's nice and straight. They actually span the uh, piece of rope that has chalk on it all the way across, and they get in the middle, and, they, and it's really tight, and it puts the line straight down, so the 2 by 4 goes equal or even, I should say, not crooked, onto the uh, foundation. This is obviously a, uh, a bedroom with a closet right there, and you have these uh, two by fours will eventually come down that they put up when they put the wall up to maintain the integrity of it being plumbed, or plumb, I should say, equal. 
so it's not crooked. And as you walk through here, you have a uh, uh, what, what appears to be a bathroom, right? You have uh, probably some sort of sink right there with maybe a shower and the toilet maybe on this side, something of that nature. So sometimes it's kind of hard when it's, there's no sheetrock up, right? Because you can't really tell what's going on. But you have a bedroom right here, as you can tell, right over here with the closet in this corner. And come on over to my bedroom. Um, right here is another bedroom. I picked the smallest one because I'm very humble. Uh, <laughs> and uh, closet right there is kind of cool. And then this is probably a half bath, right? Probably have a sink right here. Toilet right here for the guests. Looks like maybe a half bath. Right, so maybe a two and a half bath home. And as you walk back here, you have a lot, big hole in the roof, right? Hope it doesn't rain. And uh, you have the kitchen. Looks like a pantry right here, kind of built out. See that pantry? Um, and then, and then you over here, you have the kitchen. Open concept. This is going to be an island of some sort. You can tell. You got the sink right here. You probably have, maybe you have two sinks, or maybe you have the refrigerator over here with the dishwasher. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Dishwasher is going to be over here with the sink, most likely, but I'm not sure what that is. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused on that one. Um, but nice open space for the family room. And then you have the covered patio back here with your yard. You're going to have a uh, block wall right there that goes all the way up, about six feet. As you can see, the footings are poured. And uh, they did a nice job in the slab. And look at this nice slab, no cracks. They did a really good job in the slab. And then you have uh, what is probably the master back here. Come on into my real bedroom now. The master, you know, not a bad size. And as you walk back through here, this is the opening. You have the water closet here with, with just the toilet. You have a uh, sink right here. And what appears to be a uh, closet over there. So not very big closet. So that would not work for Abby. <laughs> She's shaking her head behind her like, no, no, no. I'm not buying this house, but a nice house, guys. So if you never walk through a home that's uh, not actually finished, it's kind of cool. And it's really cool how, see how they, like the plumbing, for example, the plumbing fits right in the wall, right? And everything goes in the wall and they, they do it so it's, it's uh, shorter than the width of the base plate on the two by four and everything is in the walls all the way up. Um, and now for water, what they do, they use PEX lines, right? The red and blue PEX lines that are flexible and that's what goes up the wall into the attics now and comes down different parts where they need to come to provide water to the different areas of the house. So pretty cool. Back in the day, it was, it was plum, it was copper. And then before that, it was like all kinds of crazy stuff, galvanized plumbing and that they ran in the slab. And so if you had a, a pipe leak, whew, that was not good. So much more efficient and better nowadays. But thanks for our tour. Thanks for coming on the tour with us of a newly constructed home right here in Goodyear, Australia Mountain Ranch.
I mean, this is, what more could you want? You have water slides, all kinds of water features for the kids. A show mountain ranch, if you're a hey, very family friendly. Now, a con would be, maybe if you're a single person and, and you're a young professional, maybe there's not that much entertainment for you or things to do. So, but if you're a family, they even have a 55 plus community within a show mountain ranch as well. And uh, you're more experienced in life. This might be a phenomenal place for you to live. So don't count it out. It's very affordable as well, especially for you California people, my California friends. And uh, you should check it out. Thanks for watching my video. It's probably not ranch. <laughs>